welcome back to Midwest Horizons. We're uh, trying to make $10 million on cattle in 10 years. Not much happened over winter, if we're gonna, if we're gonna be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, all I did was go spread manure. That was pretty much all I could do. So, you guys really didn't miss out on much. But, actually, I think I'm just going to park this right in front of the Quonset. And we are going to go get some planting done. Because it's time to plant some oats. And, well, we need to get to it. Because... If we don't get them planted today, we may not be able to, uh, you know, plant soybeans on top. So, yeah, it's uh, going to be a little tight. It's definitely, definitely going to take a lot of hoping and praying to make this happen. So, I guess, if you guys like today's video, feel free to hit that thumbs up you know, maybe subscribe. And uh, with that, I'm gonna go get to planting. I believe I'm going, I'm probably gonna start planting, uh, well, I think we're just gonna plant, um, we're gonna save our little oat field over here that we had from last time. I think we're gonna make this into corn. We're gonna do the big field, some oats. And then, yeah, I think, I think this will be enough for silage, hopefully. Maybe, uh, maybe if we end up getting rid of the, our cattle, selling our cattle off, maybe we can pick up a header and a trailer to do some grass silage as well to complement our um, chaff or corn silage. But yeah, with that, I'm going to get to work because, well, I need to. And I'll see you guys when I see you. All right. We are pretty much empty with this tank of seed. So we need to go fill back up and get back out here, get to work, because, you know, no rest for the wicked. Also, forgot to tell you guys, I got a uh, cheap loader in bucket for uh, one of our older um, tractors. That way we can go out and pick up some of the stones that came up while we were plowing and we're gonna get this filled up get back to work also if you guys haven't seen the first video there should be a card popping up right about now ish maybe hopefully um, unless I forgot I, I probably forgot didn't I oh well Back to work. Well, we had to uh, order more seeds. I, uh, I, I, I ran out. So we have 20,000 liters of seed coming in. And only set us back 20K. So we have, uh, we're down to roughly 51 grand. Oh, this is getting expensive. I really hope that we get a great harvest this year. Oh, one can only hope. One can only hope. But, cannot worry about what will be. Have to worry about what is right now. And what is right now is that it is planting season. And we cannot dilly-dally. We just have to get to work because crops won't grow if you don't plant them. 
And with that, we are done with planting. Finally. All of our oats are in the ground. Corn's in the ground. Um, we have new cattle. Had a uh, farmer go and bring out some of his fall calves. So now, uh, if I can get over this fence, instead of having one pen, we have two full pens. So, I'm kind of excited for that. We're slowly getting there. Um, here before too long, I think, uh, I think I'm, okay, since we have new, like, cattle coming in that we didn't have to buy, I think we're going to keep these cattle around. And we're going to make sure we get some calves out of these cows, start filling it, filling everything up, and then hopefully we can start making some... Yeah, you guys just saw that too, right? Uh, okay. Um, yep. Got magically appearing cows. Uh, yep. I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, we, we need to pick up some manure, get these cattle fed, get the bedding down, go spread the manure before the, uh, crops get too tall. You know, save a little bit on fertilizer and yeah, I'll see you guys when, uh, Something interesting happens, I guess. Oh, and we need to start bailing. Oh, yeah. Planting's over. It's hay season. Oh, crap. We, we need to make silage. Oh, no. Um, yeah, about that. So, I went to Casey's earlier, and I happened to see... This old Bergman forage wagon sitting on the side of the road. So, uh, got a pretty good deal on it. Decided we'd pick it up. And we sold off our other, you know, wagons or whatever you want to call it. But no, we, uh, we have a way to pick up our silage now. And potentially, uh, run silage with a little bit bigger capacity. I'm okay with that. So, I'm going to go pick up grass, get some more silage made up. We have a worker out tedding the other half of this field. So that way we can get some hay bales. And then, uh, just, I don't I don't know what we're going to do after that. I think, I think next thing after that, harvest. At least, it'll be time for harvest. Be the next big project. So, I was just finishing up spreading manure. And I got a call from the local co-op that, well, soybeans are at an all-time high. Um, and we need to get there ASAP if we want to make some really good money. And come to think of it, we need money. So here I am, dropping what I was doing and running soybeans out to, well, the local co-op. Um, I'll let you guys know how much money we make and... We're kind of hoping that it's, you know, a decent amount because we need to get some cattle in here. But other than that, I will see you guys here in a few when we go sell these soybeans. You know, it generally helps going to the right co-op to sell your product. So, yeah. Now, I'm still new here. All right, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly where I'm going all the time. But 219 thousand dollars just for the product and two hundred or twenty two thousand for uh being nice to the environment i'll take it i will happily take that that should uh that should make it to where we could knock down our loan pretty far but this is the last thing that we really need to do other than sell corn before oat harvest happens so I guess I'll see you during harvest time most likely yeah I'll probably see you then our oats are ready to go we have T8 over there 
Uh, where, where is, where is it? Okay. Semi is over here. We're going to need to get that hooked up. Combine's ready to go. Oh, and, um, I, I bought a new baler. Um, I, I, I know I'm not supposed to be spending money right now, but, um, it was nice, pretty, it, it was, it was shiny, and I, I, I kind of just, just wanted it. Um, don't, don't get mad at me, guys. I, I know, I know we're supposed to make 10 million, and, uh, we're not doing so hot on that front. But it also came with the bale shredder. I mean, I like it. What do you guys think? Um... I hope you guys like it. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't care if you guys like it. I like it. It's all that matters. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting to be so nice. It's kind of weird. But, uh, I guess. Oh. There we go. I guess, uh, it's just time to get back to work, isn't it? Let's do this. This is technically the first harvest of year one our first harvest of our own crop you know that's properly been taken care of we have done everything we can to make it work right and I'm, I'm I'm excited I hope we have a great outcome I hope that we you know have higher yields because the more we get the more we can sell the more money we can make the faster we can get out of debt and the sooner we can get to um, focusing on just cattle and not having to worry. Oh, we are full. Um, not having to worry when our um, uh, loans are going to come out. There we go. Sorry. I totally had a brain fart on that one. Because... Right now, that's kind of been ruining it a little bit for me. Like, I've, I've been more worried about financials than I have anything else. And I'll be honest, that is not what I would want to be doing at all. I, I kind of just want to be sitting here relaxing, enjoying my time doing this. But, do that, you got to get out of debt and... Right now, we're going to uh, do our best and, well, actually we can't do our best. We're going to see how well we can do with what we've already done. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling. All right. Let's, let's just, let's just move on. Moving on from there, tractor's filled up. We got the new Vermeer baler on and we need to get to work. We have one field that's getting harvested right now we, that we need to get baled, limed, and planted all today. So, yeah, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're going get, to get through a full year this year, or today at least. We need to get this drop down turned on. And get to work because well we need straw bales kind of hoping that uh, we can make some soybean straw bales this fall I think we should be able to hmm yeah no we should be able to and maybe 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 we can make some money off of that too what one can hope all right all right we full yet full oh oh how far over did we go oh crap we went a long ways over all right bales are made it is time to get to work and start flying around getting our bales made up so we can have some bedding because hopefully there's going to be an influx of cattle this year and if we have an influx of cattle we're, we're going to need we're going to need a lot of straw oh great we got a oh, oh. 
Oop, oop. That's that's a really big pile. Please don't plug. Please don't plug. All right, come on, come on. Don't don't plug up the baler. Take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Ooh, this Vermeer baler's a beast. It didn't even plug up on that big old pile. Good. I'm liking that. But as you guys probably saw in the background, it looks like uh, we need to unload our worker. So I'm going to finish up this straight away. Run over there, get them unloaded, get back here and get back to bailing as quick as possible. Because we are we're on kind of a time crunch today. Whoa. Nope, it didn't beep, it didn't beep. Oh no. Alright, I, I I need to get back to focusing on bailing. So I'll I'll be back with you guys here in a little bit. Wow, the workers are already full dear lord. I am never going to be able to keep up. Oh, 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 yep. All right, let's kick this bale out. Hurry up. Let's go. We're going to get that worker unloaded. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. All right. Let's get going. Got to hoof it on over here. At least I've been smart this time, and I left the truck running. It's not good for fuel prices. But makes uh makes it a little bit easier to run the truck to them whenever they need it. Come on, come on. We are in a rush today. Let's go. Oh dear lord. This is uh you know, the one thing about double cropping on the last possible day that they don't tell you is just how much fun it is. You're just guaranteed to have a grand old time. You're not going to be running around like a chicken with, with its head cut off at all. And, yeah, you, 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 it's just going to be grand. All right. Don't break anything. Don't hit any of the bales I've made. I'll, I'll be back when you're full again. Oh, dear Lord. Keep on running. I'm really going to get my workout in today. But, everybody, I think... We are going to call it there. Oh, wait. Let's probably back up. Turn this back on. Yeah. All right. We're good to go. We're going to call it there. Um, next time, we will uh, most likely be planting, baling, and, well, baling grass and baling some soybean straw after we're done planting because soybeans don't take that long to grow so with that i will see you all later